Thank you, Megan. Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the webinar on uh, Starlin CLN. My name is Alexios Cronus, and I'm a senior con senior informatics consultant with uh, CSOLS Inc. My background is in LIMS configuration and design, specializing in industries that include pharmaceuticals, forensics, manufacturing, and environmental, to just name a few. Now, in regards to StarLIMS, my experience includes configuration management and design in QM, uh, forensics, and clinical verticals, uh, respectively. Now, before we start, can I get a hand or a show of hands on who already is using uh, the StarLIMS ELN feature? So this is where you're going to want to get back to your go-to webinar panel and use the raise hand feature again. Um, repeat that question, Alex. So I'd, I'd just like to know, uh, with a show of hands, who already is using Starlim's ELNs? All right. So it looks like we have a lot of people that are exploring this for the first time. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. Thank you great. guys for participating. Awesome. So today, we will be going through the foundation of building a Starlim's ELN defining what it is, uh, learning about the relationship with LIMS, um, what tasks to perform before creating an ELN, what are the common development steps when designing a star limbs ELN, uh, learning ways to balance creativity and structure or the form and function of the ELN, and then looking at typical roles and what skills are needed to develop and maintain uh, an ELN. Then finally, we'll summarize what we've learned and answer any questions. So what is an ELN? Well, it stands for Electronic Laboratory Notebook. Now, Abbott Informatics, the developer of Starlims, defines an ELN as a powerful centralized electronic replacement for paper lab notebooks and other homegrown solutions used to record your lab data. But I would like to take a step further with this and define ELN as a hybrid tool or mechanism used to capture a wide variety of lab data, uh, prep steps, findings, and analyst observations from various sources. Now, StarLIMS ELN is an integrated module within the LIMS, providing a way to take paper notebooks and methods and transforming them into electronic formatted uh, templates that can be used from various uh, result entry options. So why call it a hybrid solution? Well, ELNs have a look and feel of a spreadsheet. Uh, but with the elements of a database. Now, ELNs can capture both structured and uh, structured analytical data and non-structured or dynamic data for research and development. Now, analytical laboratories or are geared for testing uh, a variety of samples and producing consistent results using specific techniques uh, and validated methods, so sometimes even using a structured laboratory execution process, or LES. Now, on the other side, you also have research and development labs that are freeform and not very structured. So these are the, the thinkers, and they are creating techniques. They are tweaking formulations and documenting observations along the, the way. Now, ELNs are able to take all of these different kinds of laboratories and capture all sorts of data. Now, most laboratories follow a standard high-level sample lifecycle process in LIMS. This typically includes creating samples, performing a list of, um, a list of tests, documenting sample preparation, and data in a notebook or on a uh, printed worksheet. Uh, transcribing these results, 
or even transferring them uh, or transferring the data from an instrument into LIMS. And then finally completing a review of some sort of the data and then providing signatures in the LIMS or uh, and on any paperwork that was used. But you may be wondering, can't the LIMS already handle all of these pieces of metadata from the paper notebooks? Well, this question alone has started many arguments in the informatics world. Uh, yes, it certainly can, but it has its own limitations. So a LIMS is great at capturing data, of course, calculating final results, and reporting findings. But it has traditionally been challenging to create data entry templates that allow users to effectively capture all different types of metadata that's been collected during the various steps of execution of a method. So typically, a paper notebook will record many pieces of data that are not always used for any calculations or metrics or even reporting, but they need to be documented to support the analysis and uh, the findings. The LIMS, if heavily configured or customized, can capture metadata, but it is not as flexible enough to handle the various data types that we just detailed earlier, like formulations and observations. And it's not as robust, um, and it's not robust enough to use as a collaboration tool, um, like in a research environment. Now, ELNs are great for capturing many pieces of metadata and importing uh, results from instruments, including prep steps, sample description, um, and again, observations. But they must be developed, they have to be tested and maintained, whereas the LIMS uses standard, consistent, and validated functionality to process samples and results consistently. Now, third-party ELN-specific software applications must be interfaced with the LIMS to handle the transfer of data. But with Star LIMS, there is a partnership between the LIMS side of the system and with the ELN. Now, analysts can use a variety of result entry windows, like result entry by sample or by run, um, or even plate management. Uh, to access a configured uh, ELN directly. Now, there is a rule of thumb that I use when balancing what should be in a LIMS versus an ELN. Um, I always go for using the best tool for the job. So use LIMS to store your final and calculated results. Typically, um, this is data that is delivered to a customer or is reported. Uh, all other supporting data should remain in the ELN, uh, including materials used, equipment, uh, prep data, and any other notes or instructions that you would need to put in there. The Starlims ELN is able to capture all of these pieces of supporting uh, data or items and then push the final result back into LIMS keeping with the standard StarLIMS result entry process and overall uh, sample lifecycle process as well. But how does this technically work uh, in StarLIMS? What goes on behind the scenes? Well, just as StarLIMS has a standard database and various tables for the LIMS, the ELN side also has its own set of tables storing all of the ELNs created, along with experiments, signatures, data, uh, reagents, and more. Um, a server script, uh, server scripts are pretty much code that usually modifies and manipulates data. These are typically written in StarLIMS script language, or SSL, and can be used to do things like updating inventory items, uh, equipment logs and statuses, and even transferring data from one table to another. Now, server scripts are basically the instructions telling the system what to do with a selection of data. 